This is a tutorial vi video for any student who struggles learning the order of operations. The order of operations is the order for which we work all numerical problems. We work all numerical problems going from the left to the right. Now I'm going to make a problem from scratch and we're going to use the order of operations to solve it correctly. Write with me three times parentheses 7 minus 2 plus 6 equals. Now, when we use the order of operations, we recall an acronym called PEMDAS. P E M D A S. And within PEMDAS, we know exactly what part of the problem that we need to solve first. The P stands for parentheses. So that means any part of the problem that has a parenthesis, parentheses, we have to solve the problem within that parenthesis before we move on to the next step. E stands for exponent. And the example is like 6 squared, which we all know stands for 6 times 6. M stands for multiplication. D stands for divide. A stands for addition. And last but not least, S stands for subtraction. Now, this is good practice that every, every time you have a problem, um, a numerical expression like this on this paper, that you write PEMDAS over every problem. That way you can always refer to it as you go along because when we solve these problems, we rewrite the problem as we go. So I'll model how to solve this problem as you follow along. We look at the problem and we first refer to PEMDAS asking ourselves, are there any parentheses? Here are some parentheses. So the first step needs to be, I need to solve whatever's in those parentheses. So we take 7 minus 2, we draw an arrow down, 7 minus 2 equals 5. Now I'm done with whatever's in the parentheses and I need to bring down all the other parts of the problem as I rewrite the, the question as I go along. So I need to bring down 3 times 5 and over here I need to bring down the plus sign and the 6. Now the problem says 3 times 5 plus 6. When I look up and I refer to PEMDAS I say are there any parentheses? Nope there are no parentheses. Are there any exponents? No exponents in this particular problem. Are there any multiplication? When I look at the, uh, the math operations for this problem, I see a multiplication sign and an addition sign. When I look at PEMDAS, M comes before A, so I need to work whatever in the multiplication part of the problem first. So I draw an arrow. 3 times 5 is 15. I no longer need this part of the problem, so I scratch it out as I go along and I bring down the remaining parts of the problem. So that'll be 15 plus 6 equals. And to finish the problem off, I have an addition sign which tells me that I need to add to finish this problem. And 15 plus 6 is 21. This is what we call good practice. All right, example two, write it as I write it down. Parentheses, 6 plus 1 times 5 minus 2 this times 4. Remember that it is good practice to write PEMDAS over the problem because PEMDAS represents the order of which we work mathematical problems. Okay, P stands for parentheses E stands for exponent, M stands for multiply, D stands for divide, A stands for add, S stands for subtract. Now, remember we work all problems going from left to right. And in the problem, if you happen to see the, the division before you see the multiplication, it's okay to do the division first because remember these are interchangeable.
as you go from left to right. And so are the addition and the subtraction. If you see a subtraction problem within the problem before you see the addition part, it is perfectly okay to, to use the subtraction part. Uh, I'll try to find you one uh, that have an example like that. But as I look at this problem, remember you refer back to PEMDAS. Are there any parentheses in this problem? Yes, there's parentheses. So I need to solve whatever is within those parentheses. That is 6 plus 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. And we scratch off the parentheses because we no longer need whatever's in that part of the problem. And we continue to bring the rest of the problem down. So that'll be 7 times 5 minus 2 times 4. Okay, referring to PEMDAS, I look at my numerical uh, operation signs. I have a multiplication sign, a subtract, and a multiplication. Whoa, I have two multiplication signs. So which one do I do first? I do it from left to right because that's the order of which we work problems. So I work the first multiplication sign first. So 7 times 5 equals... 35, I can scratch that off and bring the rest of the problem down. Minus 2 times 4 equals. Now I have a minus sign and the multiplication sign. As we look up at PEMDAS, we see that we work the multiplication before we work the subtraction. Okay? So now, I take the 2 times 4 and I solve it. 2 times 4 is 8. I scratch this part of the problem out and bring the rest of the problem down, which is 35 minus, and then the problem, the part of the problem that we solved prior to that, which was 8. So it's 35 minus 8. And since the subtraction is the last part of the problem, I go ahead and subtract. 35 minus 8 is 27. And that is what we call good practice.